Hello everybody, my name is Toshi and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Today's episode, the plan is I think to do some more routes to set some more things up because currently our public transport isn't particularly good. Now before we get into the video, I just want to say I've just launched a new tier on my Patreon specifically for this series so if that's something that interests you, you can by all means go and support me that way, that would really be a great help. But on with the video here, um, off camera I have changed the GV. Originally it was going to go through here, and I actually complained about this in the previous video, it went through here, did a loop and then come back round, but because it's on a hill, it struggles to get back uphill, so what I've done, I've simply, I've worked it out, because the train's going down a hill, as you can see it goes up a slight hill here, but that's not too bad of a problem because it's only a small hill, uh, but it goes down a massive hill here, so it doesn't actually need much power, so I can actually just stick the train in reverse, which does the job, uh, and that means that it doesn't have to go all the way around here, and then back up this hill to go into the siding. I think it works much better that way just because it's mostly gravity doing the work here. There's really not a lot of train work going on here, it's, uh, it's just the, the cars kind of pushing against it to, to make it go down the hill. I could probably just delete the train right now and it would roll all the way down but of course I don't want to do that because it's got to go back up again. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you, it's a nice little touch. And I did the same of course down here, so it just pulls in now and then reverses out. Uh, and that's kind of the reason why I put, you see for this train here, it's kind of the reason why I put this little loop around in, because I don't want this train over here obviously going backwards, that would be very very bad, because we don't want the power to be lost, since it is a, uh, an express service. Although today what I want to do is, it's 1864, of course because it's episode 15, uh, it's going to go to 1865, so first off let's set the date to go to forward. Uh, so we can see what we get in the new year, if anything. I hope we do get something. Um, but what we need to do is we need to set up some more lines today. Because, as you can see, there's not a lot of transport links going on. I'm just going to speed time up. There's not a lot of transport links going on. There's not a lot of people being shipped around the map. And we would like some more growth in our towns. Just to reinforce our rail network, really. Because it is our big money maker. But we don't have that many passengers. As you can see, this train here only has, like, what? Like, 77 people. Which is not a lot. This station, I know it's just left the station, but... There's only two people here. Like, that's not a lot of people. So we gotta, we got to sort that out, really. Wow, okay, so production's actually increased on this a lot. Oh, here we go. It's 1865. Uh, we have, if we just pause the game here, we have uh, some more variants, it looks like. Yeah, it's okay. Not bad. And let's just turn the time acceleration off for next episode. Uh, so, honestly, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just go to these road vehicles and I'm going to add a few more. Which I think, actually, let me just check there. I don't think we have a new vehicle. I'll just check just in case. But I think... Uh, yeah, we don't. Okay, that's fine. So what we'll do, go over here. We'll find... Where has it gone? We'll find our vehicles. We currently have 22. Let's just grab 8 more of these. I know it sounds like a lot. And if it is, it's no biggie. They're only cheap things. So we can get uh, 8 more of those. That makes 30. And they should come out of some sort of thing around here. Where are we? There should be a, a plate. Wow, this place is getting really big now, isn't it? Well, uh, here it is. So they should be coming out of just here. That's right. Cool stuff. And I might as well put the time in three uh, three times, four times speed. Uh, just so we can get these guys off this uh, little traffic jam here uh, very quickly. Oh, wow. Look at that. So we, we do actually have some good passenger numbers. They're not they're not great. They're good, is what I'd call them. Because they, they could be better. As you can see, the train's rolling in here. It's got 90 passengers. Let's see how many people actually get on board here. So, full pa okay, full train, and then three left over. So, you can see these big, uh, these big little towns here. Big little towns? I mean the big towns. Uh, <laughs> big towns are kind of doing just fine. And maybe actually we could do a mini sort of service. We have an express service, but maybe put a mini service in as well between these two places, because they are quite busy. But let's get let's stop getting ahead of ourselves. Let's just check. Do we have any debt to pay in? We do. Right, let's pay some money back in because I don't want to be paying that every year. Um, so we've got a little bit of money to work with now. Uh, we've paid off all our debts. We've got 300k, which doesn't sound like a lot. Um, but, oh actually, it kind of does sound like a lot. But in the context of this game, it doesn't sound like a lot. Uh, so we'll probably have to save for a little bit. But that's the magic of video editing. I can just cut. Uh, <laughs> but we'll see what happens. First of all, what we need to do is we need to set up some bus routes because there's a lot of stuff happening here and there's not a lot of transport for it. You can see there's a lot of uh, these little guys going around. Who's this? Uh, Samuel Edwards. Hello, Samuel. In fact, you tell you what, we've not checked upon our favourite people, have we? Did? Uh-oh. This is bad. Uh, so... <laughs> 
Oh my god, no way. So if you're new to the series, in about episode 5, I'm going to say, someone's probably going to correct me in the comments, go for it. But we we kind of, we started following two NPCs around, right? Two people. Um, and that was Zoe and Marcus. And they were engaged, it was very happy. Unfortunately, episode 13, uh, <laughs> we had uh, a plague. So this is Zoe and Marcus's house. And someone called Noah Murphy is living there, <laughs> aka they're dead. So that's fun. Oh dear. Oh well. But anyway, let's start off with the episode. I want to go ahead and get some buses on here. So let's find out a route we want to go. I would quite like for West Hampton here to connect to up here in Fancy Gap somehow. The issue is West Hampton has good infrastructure and Fancy Gap is this. It's just a mess of roads. So, can't do anything about that right now because we don't have the money, but we can probably put a bus stop in. Just got to figure out where. So we could maybe just run the road down here and if they drive on this side then pull pull the uh, the bus down like this road here and then go around. We could do that, I suppose. That sounds not too bad to me. Um, yeah, let's do that then. So let's make a new line and let's make it go from there to over here. Good. And let's call this one, so what's the other one called? Shuttles. Uh, okay. Let's just call it then, um, oh, uh, fancy, so fan to Wes bus. Let's call it that. I've lost it now. Where is it? Where, where's it gone? Fan to Wes bus. Here you are. And then we'll make it passenger color, of course, so we don't want to confuse ourselves. Cool, and now we need some vehicles. I think that might be it, really. I don't think there's anything more we need to do with that. So that's good. Let's get a few of these guys. I'm pretty sure these are the best ones. Let's just double check. So, uh, are they the same? Oh, this one has more power. So yeah, that's right. Cool. Let's get, let's say, ten of those. Sure. And let's put that on to. Wow, it's getting complex now. Look at all these routes. Wow. Uh, let's get Fanta West bus. Chuck it on there. Look at all those guys coming out of there. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Uh, but we need probably another route actually to go down here, I would have thought. Because if you look, there's a lot of traffic. If we just get... Is there, is there actually a thing to do here? I'm pretty sure there is actually a street traffic layer. Ah, there is. Okay, but I believe this is just for cars because I don't actually see any... Like, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's a problem here because I'm pretty sure because all the, the horses are so slow, it doesn't actually count them as traffic or something like that. But... There's not either that or there's not that much traffic, but to me that it looks like there's a medium amount of traffic on here It's not, not like a bad amount, but like a fair amount of traffic and I would like to get rid of some of that uh, And what we can do is we can go and make a stop in Crosset Now this brings a little problem. What is going on here? That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in this game Someone has decided to build a house in front of the train station like actually in front of it um, right, I think Crosset may need a bit of a redesign. Can we do something here? Spain. I would quite like to extend this way, but I'm not quite sure if you can do that. Um, ah, there we go. We can do, probably put something like that in, but I don't really want to. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out one out later, I think, unless there's something on here, maybe. Oh, we have a new thing unlocked. That's good, okay. We'll, we'll come, probably, we don't really need a, a cover over the top, really. It's a small station, and we only have one track anyway, so... We couldn't really do it even if we wanted to. But it's nice to know we have it, I mean, that's pretty good. Another thing, we have to sort these these vehicles out. We don't actually have the train to do it at the minute, we, uh, we've used all our trains up. But it would be nice in the future. Because I originally, my plan was to go like really eco-friendly, but then I just turned into a corporate monster, because money. Uh, <laughs> but I, I still kind of like the idea, simply because it might be cheaper, I'm thinking. It's uh, probably less environmentally friendly to run these vehicles, but at this point I don't really care about that too much. Because, uh, like I say, money's a thing, it's kind of cool. So maybe just run a, a, like a reverse train, actually, because we wouldn't need a loop on the end. If we run a reverse train. And it's not... I don't think it's hilly, right? It's like... There's a little hill here. So maybe we'd have to run it in reverse this. So going this way we would reverse. Because I think it's all flat. It's, it's, it's like a tiny hill. But yeah. 
Probably so run it run it reverse like down this way and then forward this way. So we could definitely do that as soon as we get the next train. I don't think we unlocked a boat, did we, in the last year? Let's just double check. I always will double check that because we need a boat so much, honestly. Okay, so those new vehicles are doing a pretty good job here. It's kind of keeping up with the demand nicely. That's always good. And how are our buses? Let's just have a check over here. That's not our buses. These are our buses. Okay. Making a little bit of a traffic jam. I would quite like, actually, to go to streets and make this a big street. With that, that would work very well, but it costs too much money. You know what? Let's just let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Because I think in the long run this is going to benefit us. Because what happens here is now there's a bus stop like on the actual slip slip lane is it called? No, it's not called a slip lane. But you know what I mean. On the like extra lane there's a bus stop. I'm not quite sure what this guy's doing. Is he stuck? I think he's stuck. I'm just I'm gonna just say go because I don't think he's actually gonna do that himself, is he? Um okay yeah we'd, I think that's fine. And then now you see what happens is if people want to overtake, they can just drive down... Oh, okay, that's not supposed to happen. I'll fix that. But now they can just drive down the middle of the road here and they don't have to worry about getting stuck behind a bus. Yeah, that's a big problem. I'm going to fix that. Okay, so uh, we go to West Hampton and then on the way back, we're going to just add a waypoint. There we go. And that fixes all our problems. That's some good stuff. Or is it? Because what's this little route here doing? Let's just follow one of these guys. So you're supposed to be going to West Hampton now. So he's going the right way. That's rather confu- oh I see, it's because it's displaying all routes. Well that's not confusing, is it transport fever? If I click this it displays just the right one, that's good. Okay, that route is good stuff. Now actually there's a lot of people waiting here. If I just change my, my bus to actually go to Phil, because Phil is kind of important. Because when you fill up- L okay, this game is interesting. Uh, why is that happening I wonder? Let's work it out. If we just go to here. So it shouldn't be doing that. If I just send this guy to like turn around. Oh my god, there's a lot of bosses here. Let's just set them to go, I think. Um, because there's a lot of things happening here. So, oh my god, this, oh, this is bad. So many buses. No, stop. This is like very counterproductive game. Oh no. Come on. Alright, oh, I've made a massive problem for myself here. Great, great stuff. Okay, you know what? Emergency then. We're going to turn off Phil. And we're going to just let him go. Because at this point I'd rather like them making uh, less money than them just blocking the whole road. Like it's a main road as well. <laughs> so uh, we're lucky there's not much traffic today. But um, anyway, let's get these guys going. Come on, hurry out the way. If I actually just pause the game and then we'll... We can move one of these bus stops to over here. Pro gamer move, watch this guys. Move a bus stop there, and then move a bus stop to like there as well, right? And then now, on this one, oh, it's moved my thing again. I swear I placed a bus stop there, but anyway. What the f Thanks game, question mark, okay. I guess we'll let the game play then, we'll put another one there. That doesn't work, why does that not work? This is the most dumb shit I've ever seen. What the fuck is happening? Why? I don't want to replace existing. I just want to put a new one down. Okay, guess we have to use that one then. That's so dumb. That is so dumb. Wow, I, that, I hate that. I really do hate that. Don't like that at all. Oh, hello, passengers. Since when did we get them? Oh, it's because they're on the I'm <laughs> looking at fan shuttle. That's why, am I? Fan sure, yeah, fan sure, fan sure. It's because they want to go over here. That makes a lot of sense. How are you guys doing? Zero, zero, zero. Okay, <laughs> I, we get the gist. Let's just sell some. Oh, wrong button. Let's just sell some of these. Let's say we have ten. Let's sell five. That's not why I expected to happen, to be honest with you. But uh, you learn as you go, I suppose. <sighs> How are we doing over here? Very slow progress. Can we add another station to here? I wonder. Bus. We can add another station to here. Well, there we go then. That's pretty good. Okay, and then let's go to this guy. So, are they both... I believe they're both running into... Oops. I believe they're both going to platform one. 
they are. So if we get West Shuttle to run to like platform, let's say, it'll be easier for passengers to go off of this one here. So that's platform two. So West Shuttle go to terminal two. Yeah, so let's get that one to go to platform two. Send all these passengers on their merry way. And then now the uh, the more hard to get to one, which is probably just going to be outflows because I don't see a lot of people coming to this platform or maybe though, I don't know. It's the capital city, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, I think that's that's fine. Let's just pay back this bit of loan here because I don't have to spend money on tax. Not tax, you know what I mean. Loan rep repayment, that's the one. And what we need to do, I think now, actually you can see here that they're expanding. This is brand new, this road. A lot is happening. We didn't have this uh, a couple episodes ago. What I'm going to do actually, I'm going to, can I afford to, I can. Let's just set this to go, s oh, that's a good game, thanks for that. Um, let's just change this station then. Because if we get rid of that and that, right, this does make a lot of sense, believe me, it will work. Uh, and then we go to, which one here? Tracks, is it? No, it's, it's tricky to find is what it is. Tracks, here we are, there's two different tracks tabs. We do that and then go to 50, which is our still like currently used one. And then we get that one like that and it's a big city so we don't need to have a through line. And then now we go to stations and what station do we have on here? I believe it's just the default, right? Yes, it is. So we find the default, <laughs> which is going to be harder to find. Uh, it seems that we have so much more things unlocked now. So where are we here? Platforms, is this it? It is. So passenger platform can go there. Now, that's, that's one down. Good. We get one there as well and then let's go with one. Ooh, that's not supposed to happen. Uh... <laughs> uh Okay, let's, uh, hmm, I need to leave the water tower in, is the issue. I can't take that out, so I guess we'll just leave that as is for now, and then we'll put in another track on, you know, actually, that'll do for now, that'll do for now. We'll just have those two like that, and I think that should be it, and I'm actually going to put a cover on it just as well, because uh, currently it's kind of exposed to the elements, and that costs me money, so I'm going to put one of these guys on top. Just like that. There we go. And then we're a bit more protected. Good stuff. I will use this, by the way. There is a... Why is it... What? Platform 3? <laughs> I guess it's counting this as a platform. That's so weird. Anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I like that, really. I think that's pretty good. And eventually, we will extend the station as well. Because I would like to have multiple trains in the station at once, which you can do. Definitely. O on the same line as well. So, very good stuff. And then this here is actually double track, so I should probably make use of that. Uh, but it's a bit tricky to do, you see, because there's a lot of stuff happening. Maybe if I was to like pull up this track here, I could. I, I'm probably gonna have to do that anyway. But pull up that track and then run it into there. I could do my like sideline. We don't have a train for it, but it's a nice idea, isn't it? So we'll remember that for the next uh, the next video. When we, well, the next time we get a train, anyway. I'm not quite sure how long that's gonna be, but we'll find out. I'm sure. Summerland's also growing pretty nicely. Uh, not much demand for passengers, as you can see. There's a lot of guys waiting here. I'm going to actually sell one of these because we don't need all of those buses. But I think that's about it for Summerland. There's really not a lot going on in Summerland, to be honest with you. Uh, what else do we need? Let's Ah, here's a good one. Hospital. We should do that, definitely. If we could get a bus service that goes, let's say, from... What is our manager? Here it is. So we get industrial over here, uh, we got residential, oh we should probably put residential on this side actually. We we need to do that in the future I think, because this is not good having industrial next to a fucking hospital. That is like the most dumb idea ever. That That is not, that's not good, that's not going to be very good for the patients, so probably don't do that. So eventually we'll move the residential area over here, I'm sure the government will allow it if we pay them enough. And we should do a stop here, a stop here, and then we could probably just use the hospital stop as an actual stop, and that would probably cover the industrial zone as well. I think that that is not a bad idea actually, so if we just make a new bus stop over in, wow, a lot of demands here, look at that. If we just put one of these in like say, whoa, lag, 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 what happened there? If we put one of these like here? Yeah, we'll go with that. Actually, because it's going this way, isn't it? So, it would have to be like on that side, I think. Which, I could do it there, actually, I suppose. Depends how much it covers, though. That's the problem. 
it's got to cover quite a lot of the town. So, yeah, I'll probably put one like... I'd say about about there, maybe. Yeah, I think there's a good spot for one. And then we're going to need another one on the other side of the road. Just... Oh, just... Wait for it. Just there. No! Ah! Just... You know what, let's just put one... Let's just upgrade that. You might as well. We'll put that in like that. There we go. That's good, isn't it? Awesome. And then now what we can do is... I think this should work. If we get a new route from uh, from this bus stop here that's not what I wanted to do at all get rid of that so what what why is it doing that that's, this game is strange let's okay in that case we'll get rid of that bus stop because we don't need it apparently we'll make that there that's good that's right I'll leave it as lime green for now because I do actually need to see what I'm, I'm looking at and we'll put our bus to go... Actually, it's probably better off putting one here, isn't it? Maybe, I think. Hmm, it's a tricky, tricky thing to, to try and sort out, this sort of thing. But let's get rid of that then. Let's go from hospital to there to there. Right. There we go. That's not too bad. Uh, hmm, okay. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. That sounds good to me. And then we'll go west. Oops. Where are we here? West... Uh, no, West Shut Shuttle 2. There we go. And find West Shuttle 2. Here it is. And make it yellow. And then all we have to do now is add, let's say, three vehicles to that line. So buy three. Chuck them on West Shuttle 2, which is right there. And out they come. Just like that. Okay, we have a lot of money in the bank. That's good. We'll pay the last of our debts off. Making good money so far. Awesome, look at this. We already have a passenger waiting at the hospital. Very, very nice stuff. So I'm actually going to make the uh, the route, the uh, the fill one as well. Fill setting because that comes in handy always for getting good passengers. Even if they're waiting, it just means more passengers can arrive. So I do like to do that. And I might, if, if the worst case scenario, I just reduce the amount of services it's the best way of saving money, is just to f make sure your vehicles are full capacity, always. Definitely, definitely a good way to go. And I've actually been considering doing a tram line. Considering keyword. Maybe. Maybe possibly a tram line. I don't know, it's going to be hard, because if I do a tram line, that means I have to redo all the roads. Because this side of the town's nice and smooth, and you get to here, and I could probably get away with a road there. But then you get to here, and it's just a mess. So, it would be, like, I would have to build a road through there, probably. And link it up to that road there and then it would come down here all the way to the bottom and then i would have to go in a little circle there so it's probably going to cost me a good probably a one and a half million don't really have the money for that i mean i might do soon but i don't at the minute so probably not something i'm interested in right now but it probably will do it in the future but well, just a lot of planning for the future is this episode really uh now let's have a look at some of our other towns i think in fancy gap uh, everything is going pretty smoothly. If I just hop on board this one, which I think is... No, it's not. So is this one? Nope. All right, I'm just looking for... Here we are, a Fan West bus. Let's see how many people actually get on the bus. I'm thinking maybe none. <laughs> so, oh, it's full. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Okay, manage line. Make that full load. So maybe it was just kind of like spreading the message that, hey, there's a bus service that goes to the capital city. It could well have just been that, actually, come to think of it, couldn't it? Well, that's always, that's dandy, isn't it? We have a, another bus service working now, good stuff. Is this one a fan shuttle? It is, that's doing fine as well. So yeah, that's all in all pretty good. Let's check out one on this end. So there should be, let's see here. So West Shuttle, that's a fan West bus. Only has one person on board, so not great, but it's okay. Now, it doesn't look like there's anyone waiting, which is kind of a bummer. Not really what I wanted to see, really. Uh, so look here. You're zero. I'm going to sell that then. And then this one's one. And as soon as that's empty, I'm going to sell that as well. Because then that means we have three on the route. And I think that's probably a good number to keep it on. So it's, it's a bit, like I say, it's just a lot of tinkering this episode. A lot of playing around with it. And let's come to think of it, actually. Fancy Gap, how much are you producing? Because if they're... So you have 60%. Okay. Now, what about... What is actually our productions here? Because we have... 
We've got tools, of course. We have... F oh, we could bring fuel over. If only we had another ship. If we literally had an one more ship, then we could probably do West Hampton's, like, full industrial. But we don't. <laughs> so we can't. It's so annoying. And the thing is, if we take this ship off this line, then we lose our other industry. It's like, bruh, what am I supposed to do? It's very limited with what you can work with, but it is brutal mode after all. It's very hard to work with, I suppose. So, and I... Oh my god, this game is so annoying. I've just figured out. Fancy Gap has industry, so therefore we have the ability to do postage. Lumpkin has industry, so therefore we have the ability to do postage. But if you haven't noticed, Lumpkin is on a fucking island, so we need another boat. <laughs> like, come on game, give me some slack here. Give me a boat. We've been asking for this 15 episodes now. Give me a boat. Come to think of it, we could probably actually do Summerland to West Hampton, I think. Depends if there's a demand for it, which I'm not sure if there is. Uh, let's just quickly paint this as well, so it doesn't look too ugly. So I think it's this one somewhere on here. This one, I think it is. Let's just fix this up a bit. I think that's the right one. I hope it is. Yeah, it is. There we go. Yeah, I don't like how it does that sort of dirty colour. It doesn't look very nice, does it? But at least it's all fixed now. There we go. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, let's say, because we're only using, mm, using two stops on one, one stop on another. I think that'll work. We go from there, and then we bring it all the way down here, and somehow fit it in here. Now, where's that going to go? It's going to go down the back street. Okay. Okay, and then what stop are you going to stop at? You're going to stop at that one. Now, if we look at terminals, that one is... West Shuttle 1, West... No, that's not the right one, I don't think. No, let's switch that one to Terminal 1. Okay, fine by me. And then go back here. So let's make this one yellow. And we're going to call this one... Sum to... Oh, capital. Sum to West Shuttle. Oh, no, bus, isn't it? It's a bus, not a shuttle. To... There we go. And then now we need some vehicles. So let's just get three because we've proven that... More than that doesn't really work. Three of those, buy, and deploy to... Uh, where are we? Some West Buttle. Buttle? Bus. <laughs> Mixture of bus and buttle. No, no, no! Bus and shuttle, damn it! <laughs> so I'm just having a look around these islands here, and I'm wondering if I can somehow connect some of these by road, and then get a bus service going, because some of these towns aren't even connected to the grid. Like, we have Lauby, and then we have, uh, over here we have Mount Victory. They have a train network. Some of these, like, here, like, Browns Valley, and then over here we have some, oh, like, way over here somewhere there is, uh, Soundvidge. Uh, like, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do Soundvidge. The, let's face it, the only way we could do Soundvidge is a boat. I, I don't know how we'd fit anything else in there. We couldn't really fit an airport, could we? So, I mean, we suppose we could build one over here, but... It's going to be, but let's face it, it's going to be a boat. <laughs> but yeah, I want to try to connect some of these islands up just so they have some coverage. Because, look at it this way. The more people that want to explore, find out the new towns, the more people buying our tickets. And the more money we make. Ha ha ha. Pro gamer move. Let's do it. Uh, let's find where we were. Because like, Browns Valley is probably an easy one to do. Sandwich, obviously, we can't do, but this one here is not too bad. If we just, we could probably just, with the money we've got, actually, we only have a million, but we could probably get away with it. So if we just go new road, not like that, though, and we're going to make, let's just do a straight one, just so I can get the curve on there, like that, and I can get rid of that. And then now, if we go like that, yeah, and then we curve around, oh, it's like, clockwork except the bridges this is what I mean the bridges are really expensive that's why I can't build one this tiny bridge is costing me so much money but it is what it is we have a hundred K left over may have to take a loan out uh, for the rest of this we'll find out yeah <laughs> what did I say let's take a million out and we'll go around this corner mm, so you want to go like that way and then back on it okay and we'll go like around here Keep it as sort of as linear as possible. 
I don't want to try and curve too much on this flat ground because curves are a bit more. Ex I don't want to go over that oil either. Uh, curves are a bit more expensive than straight, so I just try and keep it as straight as I possibly can. But there is, of course, a limit to how straight you can make something. And there we go, make that one. So how much do we need for that? 600k. Let's take a bit of a loan out there. We're not far away, so it shouldn't cost too much more money. I think it will be worth it overall, so there's that as well. Uh, now, where was I on here? There we go. And then make that wood. Place it down. I could, I could actually make it stone or something like that, but I don't really want to, to be honest with you. It's probably cheaper not to do that. And it is only buses after all. So it's not really a big deal too much. Oh, come on, game. Come on, work for me. So place that down there. We've run out of money again. Let's borrow a bit more money then. And let's bring that down there. And then now we can go and flatten that out. Oh, not quite like that, but it'll do. And then bring this guy. Ah, uh, avoid the oil. So, oh my god, no, roads. What are you doing to me? Gonna have to borrow some more money, go like kind of this way sort of thing, and then go back this way, and then go back over here like that, and then go back that way, and I've run out of bloody money again, let me just borrow two million. Uh, wow, okay, we're kind of in a debt again due to the, oh, look at that, 450k just for that, crazy. Kind of in a bit of a, a rut again because we're running out of money. Now I could actually just go through there. Or I could go over there, but that looks kind of expensive, so probably going to go through here, actually. Which, again, is expensive, but not quite as much, I don't think. So if we go roads... Let's just let's start off with building the road, I think is probably the, the good move to do. So just build a road like that, and then like that, and then probably get rid of one of those, and then connect this guy to there. There we go. See, that's a bit better than what I was going to do, which was just go over there. And uh, it's definitely cheaper, I think. So we'll do that, and then we'll bring that around there. A lot of placing roads this episode, I know, but uh, it'll all be worth it, believe me. There we go. We have a little connection now. Good stuff. Look at that. That is some good stuff right there, definitely. Uh, I would like a train, of course, to go over there eventually, but for now, I'm very happy with that. Definitely. Now we can connect Browns Valley. Has anyone started using this road yet? I don't think any public trans... not public, private transport is on here. So, yeah, maybe they've never even been to the outside world. Imagine that. Okay. Can you actually, like, fathom that? Imagine getting on a bus that you that's going to a place and you have no idea that there's any other place outside the place of your own. Can you imagine that? That's crazy. It looks like we have some, uh, some iron over here in browns as well, ironically. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so maybe bring some iron over here. I'm not quite sure where I'd take it, but maybe like to this steel mill? But that's like way over this direction, isn't it? It's like way over here, so I don't know. Maybe a boat, actually. Probably a boat's the best option, I would have said. Yeah, okay. But again, we don't have any boats, so there we go. We pay a bit of money because we don't really need that anymore. I'll keep that because uh, we do need a bit of money to buy the, the vehicles. And we'll get a bus stop. Now, I'm actually going to go with a small bus stop. No, a bit, let's go with a big bus stop because, after all, it will expand eventually. So, let's just account for the future. We might as well. And then right down in the centre of Browns, plop that bad boy down. And then, so there's Browns going this way. It's going to go on this side of the road. All the way over here. And then on this side, we're going to go over to the train station, which is about here. Round about here. We'll place that down. And then all that's left to do is a new line from there to there. There we go. Oh, to there. Game. To there. Hello. There we go. Right. Let's have a little look at that route. Can I minimize this? It's really big. Uh, have a little look at the route. I'm not quite sure how bad it is. I think it's pretty good from the looks of it. I don't see any problems. Yeah, that's fine. That's good by me. And then, so what happens is they're just going to come in here. Imagine that though. Like, not only are they finding a completely new place that they didn't even know there was other places, they're going into a literal underground railway if they take two, like, steps away from the bus stop. That is scary. Imagine doing that as an actual person though. Some crazy stuff. And we don't have a bus depot as well, so we'll get one of those. Go to road depot. 
and we'll go to industrial zone if we can which is like over here and we'll plonk this down just about click oh that's the wrong button uh, click it like a little bit that way to get it nice and straight place it down and then now we go here here and then let's get four of those put them on two I think I didn't call it yeah it's still line one so let's rename line one two uh, what would it be it would be uh, summer to brown so some to brow uh, bus there we go done let's have a little check on these buses so we've got one going this way is there any people waiting there is not is there anyone waiting over here there is not okay we'll check back on that in a minute do you know what because it is such a long distance I am actually gonna add one more to the line just to make it a nice number as well uh, and I'm not there's a couple of passengers here like there's uh, there's two people on this one and over here they think there's like maybe one uh, there's yeah there's one person not a lot of people but just bear this in mind we have just gone through a huge economical crisis we're on the tail end of that now so there is that and it will recover and I do want to provide these guys with transport and as long as it doesn't make me a loss it's fine by me so yeah think all is well oh dear you might say this deer is stuck on an island. That was a terrible joke. This deer is stuck on an island. Um, I'm going to do the right thing. I am going to, instead of sending a boat over here and carrying him off like a normal person, I'm going to borrow some money and we're going to build a little bridge for him. Because we are very nice people over on the Hushy Channel, aren't we, guys? And we scared him off into the water. He's now drowning. He's not. Okay, so we could have done that the whole time. Great, that's a load of money I just wasted. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good for me. Let's flatten this back out then. Okay, let's try and pay some of that back. <laughs> Talk about terrible financial decisions. <laughs> Especially after a huge economical crisis. Yep, that's me. Okay, so I've kind of found the tricky one here. I would like to run a road from Crosset to Spring Hill to Fort Pierre. However, as you can probably imagine, that costs a lot of money, and I have a boat I need to run underneath one of them. So, let's start. I'm going to buy, not buy, I'm going to borrow, let's say like that, right, 2 million. And let's chuck a street, let's say like that, and then how much is this going to cost? 8 million! What? 8 million? Million! Are you kidding me? And how much is this going to cost over here, I wonder? Let's see. Ah, but the road, don't I? We'll go like that, and then how much is this going to cost? So that's just one minute. That's not too bad. But bloody hell, eight million! I can't do that. Oh my days. Right. I can't, I can't do that one, but I can. However, do uh, we don't really need that, but I, can't, I don't want to delete it. Uh, yeah, we can't do that one, it's too much, but we can probably get away with this one. So if we go from Spring Hill to Waitley and Fort Pierre, actually, let's just check Waitley. I think Waitley maybe is too much too. Let's see. How much are you? Five minutes, yeah. Okay, we'll do it at a later date. I thought you could do that, but uh, it's obviously too deep water. So that's fine, we'll leave that. We'll do Fort Pierre and Spring Hill. So we might as well start off with the bridge itself. We're going to need a road to go up here to about there. Make that wood. Alright, and then we're going to need a road to go around there, over the island in the middle there, over to about there, which is also wood, and then place. There we go. Simple as that. Probably going to have to replace some of these bridges in the future because they are actually blocking key waterways. If we go here, you can see a lot of the well here, yeah, key waterways. A lot of the waterways are actually blocked, so I might possibly have to run something through here eventually I don't know we'll find out but if we don't we'll leave it but of course probably will uh, <laughs> we'll find out I'm sure let's actually get rid of that and we'll bring that road around like that there we go place that down bring this road to go to about there and then bring this road over here now this one's might be a bit tricky can I M M? I can do that but that's gonna cost me money 400k so we'll bring this over here I borrowed a bit of money and then we'll make that wood and that's 400k right there so not the greatest but it is what it is I don't think boats can get through here anyway to be honest with you or can they let's see 
No, they can't. So, yeah, I couldn't, there's no, like, deleting this bridge. I don't think it's going to be here a long, long time. So it's probably good for farmland over here, seeing as I have, you know, how flat it is, of course. Uh, so maybe we'll do that in the future. Who knows? We don't really have enough money to do that right now. How much is a farm, actually? Let's check. A farm costs 25 million. There's no way in hell we can afford that. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just go on with our uh, bus routes for now. And now here's a bit of a tricky bit. You know, Sprig Hill isn't that advanced, really. So we could actually go ahead and get one of these uh, these stations in, possibly. Maybe not one of the big ones. We could use a small one, possibly. Maybe. So probably not the best idea to put it in the middle of the town, but something like one of these guys down here, and then all we've got to do is just turn around on the spot might be a good move. And I would like it to go in the center of the town because that's where the biggest buildings will be. But I can't really fit that in, especially with my budget, which isn't very high. So maybe just something like... Wow, even that's expensive. Okay. So maybe I was thinking just like something simple. So... We could even put it down here, I suppose, but it's quite far away. How much does that cover? Not a lot, is the answer to that question. Uh, what about, like, here? I could probably I could probably get away with deleting, like, a, a bit of that road. Uh, so if we do that, and then we go in here with this guy, this might work, actually. If we do that, and let's put it on the other side. So split that around. Actually, it might fit in here. It probably would fit there, but I don't want to do that. Because that doesn't make a lot of sense. Because our thing isn't going to go that way. So I don't know why we do that. Rotate, uh, rotate it like that. There we go. And that's going to cost me about 500k. I think we'll go with that. That's not too expensive. I'm in a big debt at the minute. So I'm going to have to get out of that one somehow. But we plug that in there. And then that probably the AI is going to complete that road I think. And if not we can do it later anyway. And then streets we can just get rid of this one. And then we can buy a new one to go from... We don't need a big one, just do that. And then we can do that and bring it to there. And then this guy can probably get away with that, maybe. I don't like it. I'm going to go like that and then I'll bring this guy like that. It, it seems a bit smoother. So we'll do that. I'm liking this so far. It's looking good. And now we need a route. So from Spring Hill to Fort Pierre. We haven't quite done Fort Pierre, have we? So we'll quickly get away with uh, making that. And where are we going to put a bus stop in Fort Pierre? Bloody hell. So if we connect a road up to this one, you can go... So they drive on the right, don't they? So if we go over... I always keep forgetting that because in my country they don't drive on the right, they drive on the left. Uh, we plug that into that one there and then we can simply, I think, just put a road that goes from... We don't even need that, it's going to go up here, isn't it? So if we just go like that and then that into there... Not quite so jagged though, please game. So go like that and then go like... Ah, game. Why do you have to do this to me? Like that. And then now we can go to new line. We can go from Fort Pierre. Come on, don't do this to me again. Fort Pierre to Spring Hill. And then make this yellow. And then call this one uh, Four to Spring Bus. Not bug. <laughs> My spelling today is on point. Fort to spring bus. Let's buy a quick uh, depot. Let's put one of those down. That's a good spot for it there, isn't it? Not ideal, because later on it's going to be a pain in the ass to work with, but uh, it's good for now, so that's fine. Let's go with five of these. Seems to be the magic number. And let's plop these on to Fort to spring bus. There we go. Awesome. So we've successfully connected many, many of the little towns to uh, each other, which is very nice. You can see there's a couple like Spring Hill and Fort Pierre. They aren't on the main system. They kind of have a closed system, so can't really go anywhere else. But yeah, aside from that, it's looking pretty good. Like most of the islands now are connected, apart from these little tiny ones, of course, because what do you want me to do with like Lamy? Like go over here. How much? Let's just have a quick check before we finish up. How much will this cost if I want to go from here to here, right? And then make this like wood, let's see, wood bridge. Four million, surprisingly cheap. I thought it was gonna be more than that. But yeah, uh, pretty happy with what we've done today. Let's have a quick check at the buses before we end the video. So if we go over to where, I think where we started, which is all the way over here, it's a megalomonic map. It's bloody massive, hard to find things sometimes. Let's check out our finances for this service. Ooh, dear. 
Oh no! That's not what I expected. You know what, I could probably just press down here, can't I? Yeah, so if we just go back with balance, this is fine because it's industry. Um, but let's see here. So a lot of a lot of loss on these, but I'm not too bothered. There's only like tiny losses, so probably making like minus 50k a year with these things. Well, it's not ideal, but at the end of the day, it's all right because if you th oh wow look at that. Wow, 66 people want to use that service. That's crazy. And even more just came in. Wow, okay. Uh, okay, quick. Uh, duplicate these. And then one more, so make it five. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why so many people are wanting to use this all of a sudden, but anyway. Uh, but yeah, like I say, not too bothered about the money. Um, in this case, at least. I'm more interested in passenger number. What is going on? What? <laughs> Are you, having, are you having me on, game? Are you actually having me on? Right, well, let's fix this. Three parts. Oh, silly. Silly stuff. Make it like five. Uh, what on earth? I did not expect this many passengers. I think this is a commercial success. This is pretty good. There's no one wanting to go on West Shuttle 1, which is a bit of an issue. So to fix that, all I'm going to do on 9th Street is... I am going to... Oh, that's not right. That should be full. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to go full load any and make it... Oh, is that is that how it works? I've never actually used that one before. Oh, okay, I see. So full load any, I think, just takes all the passengers that are available, right? It doesn't like actually force it to wait. I think that's how it works. No? Okay, in that case, we'll just go with the standard then. I don't know how that works. If anyone knows how that works, let me know in the comments, please. And I'll uh, I'll find that one out. We'll just go load if available on that one. I'll probably save us a bit of time. Wow, look at this. Crazy stuff. Yeah, it's working much better now. Yeah, so it's been a good video. Some pretty good stuff so far. Let's have a quick check on the last couple of ones. Hospital's looking rather busy. Always good. And over here, let's check out uh, one over here, which is pretty good also. 23 people waiting. I'm just going to put a couple more of these on then. Uh, let's, I've run out of money. Wow, how did that happen? That's really, really, really bad. So let's just add a couple of vehicles on here. So we'll just do two of those, make it five. Just kind of help with the demand a little bit. So otherwise, uh, pretty good apart from the increased uh, problems that comes with it, I suppose. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And then let's check out over here. So how many people are waiting on this one? We have one person. That's not too good. But like I say, it's not too bad having uh, a loss when you're making a bit of, uh, well, a, a bit of a bit of uh, business, really, isn't it? Even if, even if it's loss, you're actually drumming business up elsewhere. So that's what's making the profit, I think. So anyway, guys, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. Um, if you want to support me, you can go to my Patreon and support me that way. Or if you don't want to support me through Patreon, you can always just press the subscribe button. That would be a great help. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure you come back next time and see episode number 16. See you soon, guys.